All right, so Maria actually taught me this last week when I got cut off. She's like, why don't you just jump back on live? So I'm just jumping back on. Maria taught me this last week. She's like, you know, why don't you just jump back on? So guess what? <laughs> I didn't realize we could just jump back on live and um, keep going. So that's what we're going to do. Let's rock and roll, baby. Um, someone's asking about SBA funding. The SBA does not provide funding. Here we go again. Um, oh, hold on. I gotta say hi. Um, is there contracts that favor veterans? The VA hospital favors veterans. The VA hospital actually favors veterans. So if you're looking for uh, things that favor veterans, I would say the VA hospital. They really are, um, they're big time advocates and fans. What else? What else? Somebody said, uh, you just start following me, answer a lot of questions. Cool. All right. No, listen, I just want to make sure because last week this happened and I was in the middle of, um, you know, talking and then it cut me off at the hour mark. So I didn't, I didn't, I didn't even think about jumping back on. And Marie's like, well, why don't you just jump back on the call? Uh, obviously, I don't want to go. I don't want to talk for another hour and a half, but. So I did, but I do want to finish up anybody had any, uh, any outstanding questions. I definitely want to clear that up before next week. I know, look, right now, every week is critical because it's the end of the year. Like I said, we just, we've been signing contracts every week. Um, so you mentioned that the lady asked SBA for additional 30K and got it. So how not? I don't know what you mean by how not. Jake, yeah, why don't you get, the next time jump on with your dad and then like go live with me so we can talk. You know, I think that's that's a much better approach is to actually go live and we can actually have a one on one conversation and talk. I mean, I, I, look, with COVID going on, are most IT work for government been remote? Um, that's a very blanket question. I don't I don't I don't know. I don't I don't know the answer to that, but I don't even know why the relevance of it. I'm not really sure how. Um, it helps. No, um, I don't do one-on-one -on -one consulting. Uh, um, I've only done it for really, really big companies before. It's a, and it's very expensive. Most, most people can't afford it. So I, that's why I don't offer it as a service. What else? Wow, we have a couple of my podcast guests on. All right, what else? What else? We're good? Someone said to do government contracts, I would need to move to DMV area. You know, I, I don't understand where do people um, get off and make these these arbitrary statements. But wh wh why would you believe them when people like myself who've never lived in D.C. do contracts all day? Why would why would someone believe that? Like, uh, it's OK for someone to make that statement. But why would you believe them when, um, you know, we show contracts that we do? I mean, the government buys and all over the world. Uh, we have people that are doing contracts in Africa and in and, and South America. So what what is what is it living in D.C. have to do anything? Uh, I've never lived in D.C., never lived around D.C. I personally only visited D.C. like three times in my whole life, right? And so for me, um, I'm actually uh, you know living away from D.C. I think it served me well because uh, what I understand from the people that were living around the D.C. area, they say it's very competitive because everyone knows each other and they're actually looking to to do contracts outside of that arena. So I actually. 
you know, you, you again, look, if you guys are on this IG, then you've probably seen some of my posts. Maybe you didn't like them, but I said, you, first of all, you got to know who you're taking your advice from, right? Because advice is very expensive because co- bad advice is very costly because again, you're, you're, look, look how they're stopping you in your tracks and giving you misinformation. Um, you can go on, by the way, just your own personal research. You can go on FPDS, you can go on DLD 7 million and find people winning contracts all over the entire world. So, and you can find companies winning contracts. There's more companies that win contracts outside of DC than that win contracts in DC. Just because it's just, it's just numbers, just based on pure numbers. Like that just, that's just such a, uh, incorrect false statement that it's, it's just, I, I don't even know where they would get that from other than just pure ignorance. Um, what else? You know, it's funny. People always ask me, what are they, who buys this? Who buys that? Look, go do your research. I, I don't know how many times I can tell folks to go do your research, right? Go out there, do your research. Find out if there's a big demand in construction supplies. I have a video that says, does the government buy what I sell? Go online, look at the video, do your research, find out what the, I mean, all the information is public. If any one of you want to know if the government buys your services or if they buy barbershops or pianos or haircuts or whatever the case may be, all you have to do is go to USA Spending, go to FPDS, and find out, did the government buy that, right? Look up the NAX code, look up the PSC code. Did the government buy that service last year, the year before, the year before that? How much? Who bought it? All of this is just research. I think a lot of people are being really lazy and just wanting someone to give them answers. I can't possibly know every single NAX code, every single um, dollar they spend on every single area. Like, I don't know how many calculators they bought last year or, or how many cameras they bought or coffee mugs. Just do your research. And I know it's like, well, Eric, I'm just asking you because see what you think because maybe you saw, you saw something. I get that all the time. Look, it's I don't I'm not running across every opportunity. I'm going a mile deep on what I want to look at and not a mile wide. So I, look, I'm not focusing on IT or spaceships or ammunition. I'm focusing on construction and I'm focused on construction in certain areas, and that's it. That's it. That's the only thing I know about. Um, do I know how to teach you how to research it and to do your own homework and to do the investigations? Yes, absolutely. But it's not my area of focus. So no, I'm not going to accidentally run across a nursing staffing contract or a contract to fix satellites or to repair control towers. I'm not going to accidentally run across that. No. So, all right. Looks like all hearts are cleared. I just want to jump on. Uh, the DOD 7 website is DOD 7 million. So it's a website where the Department of Defense posts all of their contracts that were for the day that were awarded that exceed $7 million. And you could just Google $7 million. Right. But even trucks. So even so it's funny that you say that you, you know, you think that construction materials is my industry, but construction materials and construction are not the same in government contracting. It's not the same industry. Materials are very different than the actual construction itself. So they're not going to show up the same when you're searching for them. Um, yeah, so look at DOD, $7 million, and that site lists all the contracts that are awarded each and every day that exceeded $7 million for DOD. No, I don't do residential homes. I've never done residential homes. Yeah. No, I've never. The only res, okay, I take that back. The only residential homes that I've ever did was for me personally that I owned, but I've never done residential homes uh, work for people that for a customer or client. I just did it for something that I owned that I was investing in that I was maybe flipping or uh, buying and holding. So, I, just just to be clear, what else? Dun, 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 dun. Okay. All right. Look, I just wanted to come back on real quick and just kind of answer some more questions before we jumped off. So I'll post this and, um, you know, we'll talk next week. Um, uh, I have not had success bidding on Unison, but I don't bid Unison. But my, uh, my 16 year old podcast guest, Wesley, uh, He's bid, he bids Unison, and he's done Unison before successfully. 
So I haven't done it, but yeah, if you look at Wesley, the 16 year old contractor, he's he bid unison and he does about ten thousand a month. Let me see, my man Barbara Well wants to go live. Let's see. Was so Instagram a, a, a late night platform? Hey, hey, Eric. What's going on, man? How are you? I'm doing good, man. I I just want to uh, thank you for uh, utilizing this uh, platform and really uh, broadcasting, you know, uh, federal contracts um, from this standpoint. But I got a quick question. Sure, talk to me. So you know, I've been doing the small steps as far as. Uh, SAM registration, they take me through so much, so much. That's okay. Don't worry uh, about it. Right. Just, you know, getting that related to, you know, uh, the things that um, uh, the other agency requires. Uh, okay. Dun uh, duns and uh, duns and brass okay. requires. Okay. So, uh, really just get my trademark name in. Uh, my business registration. I, I think I completed it today. I think okay. I completed it today. Okay. But uh, I asked that to say um, I've been doing a lot of market research uh, when it comes to uh, what my industry, what my company does. Okay. And, and my company is basically a, a, a mobile barbering service uh, slash training program. So um, I worked a lot in, in different um, barber colleges here in Ohio. Uh, yep. teaching the curriculum and, and really uh, certifying uh, professionals in Ohio. Okay. Uh, really just trying to branch off to federal contracts and train their personnel and things of that nature. Now, okay. in my market research, I found that a lot of federal um, correctional institutions um, have barber instructor programs okay. and things of that nature. So I'm really just trying to tap into that. But I'm seeing that the awarding agencies be uh, big agencies, you know. Big uh, agencies? Marine, as far as the Marines, uh, uh, Department of Correctional Facilities, things like that. How, okay. how can I get in front of them is my question. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing emails. I'm just trying to shoot emails to them and things like that. Right. Okay. Really so you're saying, okay, let's go back. You said, you said a couple things here. You said one is uh, Department of Corrections. Right. And then you said the Marines. Right. Okay. So, so go ahead. I'm just no. So the, the Department of Corrections is buying it or the Marines is buying it, or both? Both. Both. Okay. Um, and you're and you're having problems getting in front of the Marines? Yeah, just getting in front of a representative that can possibly subcontract uh some work out to me. Well, first of all, the Marines is not gonna subcontract that work. The Marines is gonna give you a prime contract. So they're an agency. Okay. They wouldn't um, subcontract out any work, right? So the Marines themselves, um, did you try? So, for example, let, let's just a couple things. The Marines is really big, just, <laughs> right? And so is the Department of Corrections. Those are really big. Uh, the Marines itself, you've got to find out where, like what, what, which Marine division, uh, which particular uh, Marine, like the, there's a specific buyer that may be handling only that that those services right and when now when you say you're doing your market research let's go back okay. what are you doing to do market research um so i'm i'm getting on different links like uh the u.s spending links and really okay. you know diving into it really seeing no right more. but when you whenever okay so when you go on usa spending right um they're gonna say they don't say marines Nah, I give them a key word. So I no, 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 I know what you're saying, but when when you when you get the back the results, they're gonna say Marine Station one two eight. Okay, so that's not Marines. That's a spe very specific buying office. Okay, when you get to that specific buying office, that buying office has a small business liaison officer. Okay. So so you have to look at that particular buying office, and and then from there you can now talk to or reach out to the small business liaison officer for that buying office. Okay. Okay. So don't look at trying to, at what people say is eat the whole cow, right? The Marines is a whole cow. You ain't going to be able to eat the whole cow. But you got to figure <laughs> out like within the Marines, which is the buying office that I should be targeting. Right. All right. Um, same thing with department of corrections within the department of corrections. What is the office that actually buys that stuff? For me, 
um, I'm in construction. So even like in Florida, the buying offices for some of the uh, bases is out of Alabama. Hmm. Or if it's a naval facility, it's out of Jacksonville, even though I'm in Miami. So even though the job is in Miami, the buying office is in Jacksonville for the Navy. Or the buying office for the Corps of Engineers is in Alabama. So, so it's not necessarily in your your local area or your regional area. The office that does the buying for that training could be in Colorado. They could be in Texas. Like, so that's what you have to find. Once you found that, that's when you can, again, they all have an office of small business. Uh, Ostabu, they all have small business liaison officers. And they that's the person that you want to reach out to. I guarantee you, you do that. And now you're going a mile deep as opposed to a mile wide and saying Marines, you're going to Marine Station 248 in Pohiki, Alabama. Correct. That's Now you've got a target. Now you're laser right. being focused. You've got a target. And that's the person that you want to go after. Okay. So, now you come back to me and you say, hey, I'm trying to get these people, right? And so what should I do? So my, my mentor told me to really tap into uh, LinkedIn, the LinkedIn strategy. But, uh, but if you, before you even get to LinkedIn, you don't even know who you're supposed to be talking to. Well, with my market research, I'm, I'm seeing, you know, the buying officers and I'm seeing the companies. But, you're, but you told me Marines. You didn't say specifically. Where, where are the Marines? Where? What city are they buying out of? Uh, Kentucky. It was called. Uh, but that's different than the Marines. Okay. Does, it make, does that make sense? No, that makes sense. It, it was like a, a small, I guess, sector of them that was like yeah. in Kentucky. Uh, so, yeah, LinkedIn is a great tool. Don't get me wrong. Okay. But you haven't even tried calling their small business office first, and you already jumping on LinkedIn. Like, try to hit up their office first and set up a one-on-one -on -one, uh, briefing with them. Okay, okay. That's, okay, that's now do that. Be ready. Don't waste their time. Make sure when you do that that you have your capabilities. Make sure... You Make sure all your stuff is together. I wanted to, anyone out here listening, please, 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 please do me a favor. If you listen to me, I want you to be prepared. I want you to show up and show out, like they say. Don't just be there. And then people say, register in Sam, get your capabilities. Tip. Don't waste it. Don't, don't do that. Don't waste your one shot and, and have the people tell you some basic stuff that you already know that you should be doing. Right. Correct. Correct. Okay. Don't waste that, that, that one time at the dance. Like they say, you only get a first chance to make a first impression. You get one chance. Don't waste it with them having to tell you or teach you some foolishness. I understand. Okay, so go ahead and get all that stuff ready now. Make sure that you are registered. Make sure that you've got your capabilities. Make sure that you've already identified some upcoming projects or opportunities. They're pulled down their forecast list. You know what they got coming out, right? You have all that information in your hand ready to go when you make that phone call. And then that way, when the person picks up the phone and they finally, you finally reach them, I don't know when it's going to be. I'm not saying you're going to reach them tomorrow. But when, they, when you finally reach them and get them on the call, you can talk or intelligent, articulate, and you can convey exactly what you're looking for, what you want, and um, how you can, again, solve their pain point. Don't get on there talking about you a minority business. Don't do that. No, nah, nah, I ain't going to do that. Well, you say My pick. My pitch gonna be straight. Trust me, it's gonna be straight. Like you know, how many people get? What do we just heard? First thing, people use you, you. If you want to chat, how many people? I guarantee before we finish the night, somebody's gonna do the same thing. I'm a, a veteran business. What's the next step? <laughs> and we are gonna say the same thing. What What do you do? <laughs> What's your What is your business? Facts. That's that's just facts. Like so many. If it didn't happen, we wouldn't be hearing about it every single day every single opportunity, every, like, you get me, if this didn't happen like that, we wouldn't be learning about it, hearing about it so often, but it does happen. Yeah. And that's just the reality. It happens. Um, and it happens all the time. So I just want to tell you this, cause again, I don't know you from anybody else. And I just want to, you know, put it on the table. I don't want you to be like, man, he didn't tell me that. Sometimes people already, and you know this in life and in, in, in your journey, people already have a preconceived notion about you without even meeting you, right? right. That's, in our, that's in your own community, with your own family, your own people. Forget a stranger. So let's present that 
maybe this person doesn't want to deal with small businesses. Maybe they don't like small businesses. I don't know. But so you have to lead with pain points, value, what can you do, right? Like you told me, hey, look, I've already trained barbers all over the country. I've done instructional training. Though That's solid. Like that's solid points, right? Um, people are looking for that, that kind of stuff. Like right now, especially with COVID, people are looking for training, um, platforms, programs, curriculums. Like that's big. I mean, that's that's huge. So definitely um, once you nail it down, right, and you figured out who it is, then once you have all your stuff together, then I would say reach out to them. And I promise you, they, they want to hear from you. Like, like who doesn't want someone who already has experience doing curriculums and training? Who, do, who would not want that? The people that are probably doing which, which that job now, the contracts, don't have your experience. I bet you. Mm. But, but you don't, how they get how they get in the contracts and they ain't got that experience. That's why because, because at, if if the government put out the contracts and that wasn't a requirement at the time, right? Because no one could meet the requirement, then that's you know. And plus, a lot of times we're not challenging the contracts. So we're that's not. That, that's that source to solicit you were talking about. If, you, if you're not, if you're not, if you don't right, if you're not challenging the contract, then how do you know you exist? Right. Correct. They don't know you. You are a ghost business. So many of us that are following this on Instagram are ghost businesses to the government. The government, does it, do the Marines know you? Nah, they don't know me. But they gonna <laughs> know me. They gonna know me pretty soon, though. So, you know, they don't know you. How can they? Listen, as soon as the people met me, they were so happy to meet me. Wow. They were so, like, I promise you, the people thank me for showing up and being present and they're like, oh, my gosh, we're so happy that you came to us. We're so happy that, like, we found out about your company. Because they don't have the time to go out and find all of us great people out here in this world and yeah. seek us out. They don't know how talented we are, what we could bring, the, our skills. They don't know this, and they don't know how to go seek us out. So it's our job to inform them, to let them. It's our responsibility, right? It's our obligation, actually, for our families and the people that we want to employ in the future to go out and, it's you know, make ourselves be known so that we can bring the value, solve their pain points, and then build long-lasting businesses. It's our job. It's your it's your responsibility to do that. Thank you. Nobody, Thank you, man. Thank right. you. Keep keep inspiring us, man. I'm 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 I'll be 32 this week, so man, uh, I stuff. get a I get a joy of uh, confidence, man. Every time I see you know a podcast of yours or a YouTube you. video or different Thank content, especially with the 16 year older man. If that ain't inspire nobody, I don't know what. <laughs> I don't what know what is. else, right? Yeah, yeah. That yeah. inspired, but I don't know what else inspired people, right? Sure. It's you know he watched a movie and started doing a contract, and we and everyone else as a, like you said a thirty year old second guessing himself, right? All 20, the time. All the time, right? Everybody is second guessing themselves, and this man is like sixteen. And look, I get seventeen year olds, eighteen year olds hit me up all the time, and I'm like, look, this is good. That's to me. That's really good for the future, like generation. You know what I'm saying? Like I got, I get a lot of. Uh, it makes me feel good inside knowing that okay, we're gonna be Thank all right. You, Bridget. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna let you get off, Eric. Man, this whole right, show, man. Thanks a lot. All right, be good. Thank you for jumping on. Yeah. Later. Yeah. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. Look, I ain't trying to stay here all night. I've had fun. You know. Let's just let's just let's circle back around next week and talk. I did definitely want to jump back on and finish some questions up. So, um, Javon, we'll talk about staffing on another call. Uh, but I did do a, a talk about that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and hop off, guys. It's kind of late, and uh, I got some stuff I got to do. So we'll holler. <laughs>